Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to go on a tour through our dinosaur exhibit on our Dino Expedition. Hey, welcome to the museum's traveling exhibit hall. Today we are with our dino keeper Alina, who actually has a little friend we're going to learn about here in a minute. We are going to go 65 million years into the past and we are going to try to understand what these rocks, are these rocks? No, they are not actually. These are something called fossils. Fossils? Yes. Fossils. Is that like the watch I wear? No, that is a brand and it's definitely not your parents or your grandparents. Oh, got it. You're so can you tell us and our viewers actually, what is a fossil? Well, a fossil is the petrified or stone cast remains of dead plants and animals that existed millions and millions of years ago. So, so this was like a part of an animal? Yes, once upon a time that was actually a part of a velociraptor. That is what is called as their kill claw. And that actually belonged to Danny right here. Danny? Yeah. Whoa. Shh, it's okay. That, he's, he's just saying hello. Hi, Danny. All right. So can you just tell us a little bit more about the fossils here? Let's okay. start right here with this guy right here. So what is this? This is the thumb claw of a raptor known as the mega raptor that lived in Argentina a very, very long time ago. In Argentina. That's in South America. South America, that's right. That's awesome. Once upon a time, dinosaurs covered every part of this planet, including Antarctica, because oh. it was not covered in ice a long time ago. So what do we got here? This looks like a skull. Guess what type of raptor that is. I'm going to go... I don't know anything about dinosaurs. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you got? Well, this is actually the Velociraptor. So is this like the one that we see in like Jurassic Park? Well, believe it or not, Vel uh, Velociraptor became popular in Jurassic Park, but in reality, the Velociraptors actually were not much bigger than Great Danes. The so, ones you saw in the movie were more related to the Utah Raptor that you see in the United States. Gotcha. Now this, this one's easy. This looks like an egg. Yes, it is an egg. Okay. This came from an egg called, uh, from a dinosaur called an oviraptor. Okay. Now, and so, safe to say, dinosaurs laid eggs. Yes, they did. Okay. Awesome. And now uh, we already discussed this one, this right? This was the claw this from a kill claw of a Velociraptor. Perfect. And now, what about this? This, this, this perfect, nice little triangle-looking thing. Now, do you think that came from a carnivore or herbivore? I'm gonna go because it's pointy and sharp. A carnivore. That is actually came from a herbivore called an iguanodon. So this isn't a tooth. Nope. It's oh. not a horn on his nose or his face or his head. It is actually a thumb claw. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Okay. And so dinosaurs, they ate plants. They, they ate, plants. ate meat. Yes, they did. They sometimes ate both. They did. Okay. Certain species. And um, tell me a little bit about Danny. Well, Danny here is a very, very special hatchling we found on our dig site a couple of weeks ago. He came from an egg just like this. This is typically came from carnivorous dinosaurs. They laid elongated I'm eggs. I'm sorry, such he's as carnivorous? This. Yes, he is. So he's a he would like. Okay, so I'm just going to keep. The distance? It's okay. He's well fed. He's not going to try to bite your fingers. Okay, Look, you can perfect. even pet him. Say hello, oh, Danny. Can I? Hi, buddy. Aw, see? He's very well behaved after we feed him. <laughs> <laughs> and what, 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 did, we already said he eats, he was a carnivore, yep. so he eats meat. Danny is actually a Utah raptor. Okay. So he's the larger American cousin. Over here behind us is the velociraptors, who are the Mongolian cousins and the smaller species that became very, very popular. And I can see that they actually have feathers, they have teeth, so they're, they're kind of a long, age-long discussion over feathers and scales yeah. and whatnot. But I also see they have sharp teeth, and so they, we know that they were carnivores mm -hmm. as well to, for this. Well, that's fantastic. And um, anything else you want to tell our visitors? Well, paleontology is a very special field that studies the history of life through these fossils. Now, the reason why it's important is because it tells us how Earth has changed over time and it helps us predict how Earth can change in the future, depending on how evolution has affected the, our dinosaurs and our modern species and how they've descended from them. Now, paleontology isn't a field just for boys, despite what is popularly portrayed from our Indiana Jones and other paleontologists. It is also a field for women and very, and in fact, the first female paleontologist, and the most important for all paleontologists, was a woman named Mary Awning. Okay. And, what, and so my question is, by studying this, mm -hmm. I can then 
tell what's going to happen in the future or predict what may happen or mm -hmm. hypothesize what may happen. You can in the hypothesize future. what may happen because dinosaurs came in all different shapes and sizes. In fact, the age of dinosaurs was divided into different eras from Jurassic, Cretaceous, and the tri uh, Triassic. And let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Any animals alive today that were alive when dinosaurs were alive? A few of them. You can think of the alligator, the horseshoe crab, even our cockroaches. Cockroaches? Yes. They're the hardiest survivors in existence, and they've been around for millions Whoa. of years. And they were a lot bigger back in the day. Well, I'm glad they are as small <laughs> as they are now. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Danny, for being here with us. And we'll see everybody later. Have a good one. We want to thank Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital for sponsoring this today. And if you liked what you saw, drop a subscribe below.